Uh, well, when you look at the stats after the first set, you know, uh, as one of the girls said, we did our job. There just was something missing tonight. We didn't have, we weren't very uh, excited. We didn't play with a lot of passion. Um, so I was a little disappointed in that tonight, actually. Um, we played fine. We hit 400 in the second set. We hit 394 in the third set. But something was missing, and that was that fire and intensity and excitement that we've been playing with all year. So uh, we get to fix that tomorrow night. So we don't have to wait long. It'll be less than 24 hours, and we'll be out, back out here playing against Widener for a conference match. Uh, I think it was we passed a little bit better. Everybody was a little bit sharper. Everybody knew we hit 080 in the first set, and uh, we, made, we made a lot of hitting errors. And some of that, you know, when our passing isn't great, then our setting becomes not great, and then we hit from places we normally wouldn't hit. Um, I think our serving improved. They, you know, so they were giving us a lot of easy balls that we could we could uh, dig and um, transition into offense. So everything just started clicking a little bit better that, that second and third set. So we'll take it. Yeah, Katie is unbelievable. She is very, very powerful, and uh, she got a chance to show that a little bit tonight. You know, really, Elizabethtown's a very good blocking team, so I don't know why we were a little tentative at first, and uh, maybe the ball wasn't exactly where we thought it should be. We did a lot of rolling and tipping, and then finally we started hitting the ball hard. On, you know, our pin hitters, Anna, well, Annika and Katie and Lauren Weaver, all played real well tonight and hit for a high percentage. Yeah, that's interesting because you know, the way our lineup is set up, they're only together once. Victoria is with Mariah twice, but tonight it's, you know, Lauren Weaver had a really great night, and so she had a lot of block assists along with Victoria. That can be quite a wall, and tonight the hitter they were matched up against most of the time um, it was just somebody that they could get, a, get their hands on the ball quite a bit. Well, I, we, we just rest, and, you know, a lot of times we like to play back-to-back -back because if we get an NCAA bid, guess what? We got to win three in a row to get into national. So uh, it's by design that we play back-to-back -back games, and we're going to do that in two weeks. We're going to play back-to-back -back home games, and it's just to kind of get us used to having to respond again uh, and um, get ready to play without a practice.